Hey Angular devs out there, today I am super excited to introduce my new Angular Signals Masterclass ebook. This book was especially designed for you to give you the right tool to really master signals and become a expert in Angular Signals. So throughout this video I want to give you a brief introduction of that book so that you can decide if that's something for you. So. This is the second version of the book. We already had the first version, but I think the second version is much more appealing because it has way more content. And also we did a small shift in how we structure the content. And we now use the Angular roadmap as a base guideline for our content. So the Angular team has a vision of a future where we basically write all standalone components and we have signal change detection. Everything is zoneless. So a pretty epic future. But of course, the Angular team also makes a promise that they are always backwards compatible. And the question is, how do we get there? So the Angular team has come up with five crucial steps. First, they want to introduce signals. Then they want to bring signals APIs. Then zoneless with on push. Fourth would be signal components. And the final stage would be signal change detection. Plan is currently in progress. And if we check the graphic here on the right side, we can see that we already have signals. We already have signals APIs. We already have experimental zoneless, but we do not have the step four and five. The book was designed in such a way to give you a tool to understand each step in detail and also already understand why we even need the first step. Why do we even need signals? So in the second step, we want to give you some base tooling around the signals itself. So what are computed, what are effects and so on. And then of course we dive into the impact on change detection, how does it work with zoneless and all this kind of stuff. So again, if we check the base content, you can see that you will learn how to create, read, update, mutate signals, again, computed and effects. And one thing that is super cool because that's a in-depth resource that goes behind the basics is we will talk about the concept of consumers and producers. That's an important thing to understand if you want to understand the behind the scenes working of signals, like how does the algorithm work behind the scenes. And it's also a base for the push pull pull algorithm. So currently you probably have worked with RxJS a lot, which is plainly push based, but signals are actually push and pull based. So it's crucial to understand this if you work with signals and really want to grasp them. To understand these kind of algorithms, we use some graphics like this, which explain every step that is happening when you, for example, call console log is even on a computed signal which internally uses a writable signal. Speaking of writable signals and computed signals and normal signals, you will understand each type after reading this book. Furthermore, in the latest version of the book, we also include a brand new chapter about all the modern signal APIs. So about in signal inputs, about models, about you child, you children, content child and content children, because there are some pretty cool additions to the framework, which allow you to write much cleaner code. So especially signal inputs is one of my favorites. Also content children as signals is amazing. Throughout the research, we also saw that many developers are often confused if they should now use RxJS or signal, which one they should use in which case. And then also how can you bridge between those two worlds? So how can you convert a stream into a signal or a signal into a stream? What kind of options do you have? And we dedicated a whole chapter to this. So we will learn when to use RxJS, when to use signals, and also how we can leverage best of both worlds. Then we also included a ton of great examples, which demonstrate some edge cases, but also like some real world use cases. Um, so for example, if you are interested in this, you can go to anglerexperts.io products, ebook signals, and check out this code snippet, which is basically using one signal, and two computed signals and uses them as a template. And the question is basically what happens if we would increment our base signal and go there, try to figure this out for yourself. And if you want to see the answer, click here, or you can also open it in stack blitz and just play around. I also want to take this video as a chance to give a shout out to everybody that was reviewing our book because we had some amazing engineers that got a free preview and were reading the book and got us some pretty nice feedback. So shout out to Shai Resniak. Um, he's a Google developer, expert in Angular and quick team core member. Um, so if you do not know Shai, um, he gives amazing talks, funny talks. He's, he's a super nice guy. So shout out to him and shout out for the nice um, feedback. 
shout out to um, Santosh, Santosh Yadav is a GD for Angular, GitHub star and NX champion. He found some nice um, small typos in the book, some small improvements. And that was a pretty cool feedback that we got there. And also shout out to Dani Paredes from Barcelona. He supports the wrong football team. But besides that, he's an amazing engineer. Um, and thanks a lot for the feedback. Also, if you decide to read the book, feel free to submit some testimonials here. Um, that would be highly appreciated or just to deliver some feedback. What can be improved? Um, yeah, so if you get the book, you get, of course, a PDF, you get all the pages and you get all the future book updates automatically. The book is currently available on Gumroad and we have a special offer of 30% off until the end of October. So make sure to get that. That was basically some initial release deal that we want to do. But once this deal is over, we will be back at $29.99. Um, yeah, so make sure to check out this book. Um, you can also get a free preview if you want. So you can read the free preview. Decide for yourself if the book is something that is maybe interesting for you or not. And just let me know. So make sure to not miss this opportunity. Thanks for uh, watching the video and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.